Hey there guys, this is the Outdoor Gear Review, and my name is Luke. Thank you very much for tuning in for this episode where I show you all how to make your very own paracord hammock suspension system. Lightweight, strong. Go ahead and get comfortable. Let's get started. Now folks, this right here is what we will be making for this project. Very, very simple, very strong, very usable, also very lightweight. Now, for this project, I recommend that you use very good quality paracord, 550 cord, or even a 650 cord, whatever you want to, as long as it's very strong, because it needs to be. It needs to be a good, reliable product. This right here is made by Titan, and this stuff is amazing. It's very rigid. You can tell the difference between really good paracord and the bad stuff. So make sure to get some really good paracord for this project. Now, right here, I have a strand that is 19 feet long. You can, of course, cut your sections to any length that you want to. I recommend going at least 19 feet. That way you have plenty of material to work with. That way you have plenty of options for setup. So if the trees are really far apart, you have plenty of slack. So what we have here, 19 feet of paracord. When you cut your paracord, make sure to carterize the ends, burn the ends so they don't fray. Take both ends of your paracord and put them together. And essentially you want to tie just a regular old fashioned knot into that end. No crazy knots this time. As you can see, they're very, very simple. That's where you start. Now from that point there, every foot you want to tie an additional knot. As you can see, they're roughly a foot apart, not one, not two. Time for another knot. Now you can put as many knots as you want to into your strand, but the thing is, each knot will take up a ton of cordage. You would be surprised at how much slack is taken up for each knot. So if you want to put, say, a knot every six inches, you better increase the overall length of your paracord. Okay, so going on to the third knot now. It doesn't have to be perfect. Roughly every foot or so. Okay. This is a fun project here. Okay. And it's also a very quick project, too. Okay. Another nice thing is that it really doesn't have to be precise, either. Okay. Alright, we'll put one more in here and call it done. As you can see here, this paracord is very stiff. It is very, very stiff. I like that in my paracord. As you can see here, on the one end, you have a loop, then it's your knot, 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 and that's the end. So folks, right here is our paracord hammock suspension system strap. This weighs 1.3 ounces, and it is five feet, eight inches long. Now, if you wanted to take this 19 feet of paracord and make this longer, put less knots in it. Or, of course, you can use more paracord and start with a piece that's much longer than 19 feet. Like I said before, you would be amazed at how much slack it takes for each one of these knots. Now, folks, when it comes to the cons for paracord suspension systems, there will be some stretch that gives with the paracord. That is one reason why you have the varying degrees of knots. So as your hammock stretches over time, you can readjust with no issues. Now, when it comes to the weight bearing capability of paracord, doubling this up definitely makes it stronger. It doesn't double the weight carrying ability, but it does increase it. I suggest that you tiptoe into your hammock system. As soon as you make your straps, you set up your hammock with it, put your weight into it gradually. Make sure that the paracord will support you. Again, this really goes back to the importance of having really, really good quality cordage. 
I weigh 155 and I can lay with these no problem and I have done so for years. A friend of mine weighs 275 and he uses paracord straps as well with no issues and hasn't had any issues at all. Yes, it does stretch some, but it's not that big of a deal. By the way, folks, if you are a very large individual, you may want to consider tripling the strands to make it even stronger. Now, some people do not like using cordage for their hammock suspension systems because it is rough on trees. Well, in a future episode, I will show you all how to negate that so you can use cordage with your suspension systems for your hammocks. Now, before I go, I will show you guys how to use these straps. This is so simple and it really does work well. Okay, you have that end with the loop, right? Pull that around the tree, as you can see. Take your paracord, run it through, and pull it tight. Just like that, you're ready to rock and roll. You can hook your hammock onto the end of this, hang, no issues at all. So my friends, that is how you make paracord hammock suspension system straps. Very, very simple. As I mentioned before, if you need to make longer straps, start with longer sections of paracord. You know, instead of going at 19 feet, go up to 25 feet and then begin tying your knots. It's very, very simple and it really does work well. If you guys have any questions for me, you know what to do, drop them down below. Until next time, everybody take care, strength and honor, be well. Mm -hmm.